in today's video we are going to talk about immunization so we all heard that term that is immunization so immunization vaccination is the act so first we have to know the what is vaccination vaccination is the act of introducing a vaccine into the body to produce protection from a specific disease so vaccination is the process or act by which we give a vaccine to a person this is called vaccination and what is immunization immunization is the process by which a person becomes protected against a disease through vaccination so after by the vaccination when a person is become protected against a particular disease is called immunization so now we have to know the importance of immunization in our life so here is the importance first is to prevent any infectious disease so by the immunization the person who is immunized that person can prevent any kind of infectious disease by the immunization process next is provide protection for oneself and surrounding so by immunization the person who is immunized so the person is protected from that disease other than that by taking immunization the person is preventing or protected from spreading infection from himself to the other so by the immunization we protect ourselves as well as we protect our environment the third point is improve the functioning of the immune system so by immunization process our immune system getting boosted up and the functioning of functions of the immune system is getting much more better last is to eradicate the diseases by immunization we can eradicate or eliminate the disease from our society from our community from our body also so next come to the immunization schedule of india which is called national immunization schedule so in national immunization schedule there is the categories age groups in age group according to age we provide vaccines to pregnant women to infants or to children so there is the category first is for pregnant women there is some vaccines is available to for pregnant women so for pregnant women the vaccine name what is the vaccine that is tetanus toxoid tt1 that is tetanus toxoid dose 1 tetanus toxoid dose 1 is given when to give in the time period it is given early in pregnancy means when the mother getting in uh, getting know that she is pregnant or as soon as our pregnancy we give tetanus toxoid dose 1 nowadays the tetanus toxoid is changed to td tetanus diphtheria tetanus the name is changed and the composition is same that is tetanus and diphtheria other than that the dose the time period the route the sites are same so the dose is 0.5 ml the route is intramuscular im the site is upper arm then next is tetanus toxoid dose 2 when to give the time period is 4 weeks after 4 weeks after tetanus toxoid dose 1 so after taking tetanus toxoid dose 1 the interval between two dose tetanus toxoid dose 1 and 2 that is one month or four weeks so after four four weeks or one month after first dose of tetanus toxoid we give tetanus toxoid dose 2 the dose is same 0.5 ml route is intramuscular site is upper arm then tt booster dose the tt booster dose is given tetanus toxoid booster dose is given to the mother when the mother is became pregnant within 3 years of her last pregnancy or tt doses if received tt doses in a pregnancy within 
the last three years. If the mother three is uh, become pregnant within three years of her last pregnancy, or within three years of her TT TT doses, then the mother is given only TT booster dose. In these cases, TT one and TT two doses are not given to the mother. Only TT booster are given. The dose is same, zero point five ml. Road is intramuscular, side is upper arm. So next come to the next category that is for infants. Infancy is known up to one year of age. So in for infants we give that kinds of vaccines. First is BCG vaccine. BCG is given to prevent tuberculosis. The full form of BCG is Bacilli calamity guirin. So, when to give means that means the time period at birth or as early as possible. Maximum we give this vaccine up to one year of age. So, it is given best to given at birth as early as possible at birth. Other than that, it can be given maximum age that is one year. Dose is zero point one mL and zero point zero five mL until one month of age. So here the diluent is present. The vaccine is uh, before administering vaccine. The vaccine is diluent with sodium chloride. The root is intradermal IV root, and site is left upper arm. Next is hepatitis B birth dose. The hepatitis B birth dose at birth, uh, the time period is I'm going to give that uh, the time period is at birth as early as pos uh, possible. The maximum age is within 24 hours of birth. Within one day of birth of a baby, we give hepatitis B birth dose. The dose is 0.5 ml, dilvent, there is no dilvent, root intramuscular IM and side is anterior lateral aspect or side of mid thigh. Left, left side, uh, the hepatitis B birth dose is given left thigh of the baby in the anterior lateral of mid thigh. Next, the OPB zero dose. OPV full form of OPV is oral polio vaccine zero dose means the birth dose it is given at birth as early as possible so OPV zero dose is given at birth it is called birth dose of OPV maximum age is within the first 15 days of a, of a birth of baby birth the dose is two drops root is oral next OPV first second and third dose so before going to these vaccines so there is bcg hepatitis b and opv0 it those three vaccines are given at birth of a child so next come to the opv first second and third dose so opv first second and third dose is given first dose is given six weeks second dose is given 10 weeks and third dose is given at 14 weeks of a baby then the maximum age or maximum period of giving OPV first second and third dose is given till five years of age and the dose is same two drops next come to the IPV the full form of IPV is inactivated polio vaccine it is given at six weeks and 14 weeks means the IPV has two dose with the first dose is given at six weeks and second dose is given at 14 weeks it is given up to one year of age maximum age is up to one year of age the dose is 0.1 ml and root is intradermal inside is right upper arm so next is pentavalent vaccine so from the term from the name that is pentavalent 
so there is five vaccine pinta means five vaccines are combined it is a combined vaccine where five vaccines are there so pentavalent vaccine has first dose second dose and third dose so pent is b so those vaccines first dose second uh, those pain uh, the pen pentavalent vaccine uh, vaccines have three dose first second and third dose the first dose is given at six weeks third uh, second dose is given as to uh, 10 weeks and third dose is given at 14 weeks it is given up to one year of age and the dose is 0 0.5 ml and it is given at uh, in intramuscularly and the site is right, uh, left thigh anterolateral of mid thigh so it is given left thigh of the baby and anterolateral aspect of the thigh so next come to measles vaccines first dose so measles vaccine first dose is given when to give the time period is 9 to 12 completed months when the baby's age is 9 to 12 completed months and it is given up to 5 years of age the dose is 0 0.5 ml and it is given subcutaneously subcut and site is right upper arm so next is japanese encephalitis first dose je first dose the je first dose is given at the same time of the measles first dose that is 9 to 12 completed months and it is given je vaccine first dose is given up to till 15 years of age the dose is 0 0.5 ml and it is given subcutaneously and it is given left upper arm the measles first dose is given right upper arm right side and the left uh, under the left side the japanese encephalitis or je first dose is given next for infants vitamin a first dose is started at nine completed months with the measles and je vaccine so with the measles and je vaccine we started vitamin a first dose at nine completed months it is given up to five years of age and the first dose of vitamin A is 1 ml, which contains 1 lakh international unit, 1 lakh IU. It is given orally. So next come to the children category. In children category, the DPT booster, diphtheria pertussis tetanus vaccine, first dose is started, which is given 16 to 24 months of age. And it is given up to 7 years of age. And the dose of this DPT booster first dose is 0 0.5 ml and it is given intramuscularly at the left thigh. Then measles second dose at uh, 16 to 24 months and it is given up to 5 years of age. Measles second dose to start it is given at 16 to 24 months. The dose is same, the side is same. Then OPP booster dose, OPP booster dose is given at 16 to 24 months with DPT booster first, measles second dose. It is given up to 5 years of age. It is the same as OPP vaccine, 2 drops, oral, oral route. Then next, JE or Japanese encephalitis second dose, it is given at 16 to 24 months. As the same previous uh, first dose that is 0 0.5 ml and subcutaneously at the left upper arm. So next, vitamin A, second to ninth dose. The first dose is given at nine completed month, and the second to ninth dose is given every six months. The interval between second to ninth days, uh, dose of vitamin A vaccine is six months. So between every dose of vitamin A vaccine is interval between every doses of vitamin a vaccine is six months the second dose is started from 16 months and every after that every six months the vitamin a doses are continuous up to ninth dose mm. from the second to ninth dose of vitamin a vaccine the dose is 2 ml only the first dose of vitamin a is 1 ml which contains one lakh international unit but from the second to 
ninth dose of vitamin A vaccine is the uh, amount of dose is 2 ml which contains 2 lakh international unit. The, do, the route is same oral route. Then the DPT booster second dose which is given at 5 to 6 years of age of the child and it is given up to 7 years of age and the dose is 0.5 ml which is given intramuscularly left upper arm. And the last that is tetanus toxoid which is given 10 to 16 years, 10 and 16 years. The tetanus toxoid has two dose. First dose is given at uh, 10 years and second dose is given at 16 years. Dose is same 0.5 ml intramuscularly upper arm. There is another a new vaccine is given is added in National Immunization Schedule that is the 8th number that is Pneumococcal Conjugate Vaccine PCV vaccine. It is it has it has three dose that is first dose is given at six weeks second dose is given at 14 weeks and third dose is given at nine completed months the third dose is called booster dose pneumococcal conjugate vaccine has three dose first dose is given at six weeks second dose is given at 14 weeks and the third dose is given at nine completed months and it is given intramuscularly Thank <laughs> you.